Hello, welcome back. Yeah, today we dig into the Beatles mono box set, you know. I just thought about as nowadays we, I, you shouldn't take anything for granted. It might be interesting to dig into these grail and <laughs> huge box set that is supposed to be one of the things to get. If you see over at the at Discogs those prices, the amount these releases go for are incredible. They go for around yeah, sometimes 2000 bucks some people want and, and, and sometimes they even get that. And of course it might be very very interesting and do a comparisons if they are really, if the records inside the set are really, really that good, that this extremely high price makes sense. As I said, it's supposed to be all analog, which of course is a great thing. But then again, why not compare them whenever possible against the original, the original pressing? And in this video, I start with revolver. Here you have the jacket of the uh, of the uh, uh, remaster in this box set. With the jackets, that is totally clear. They did a fantastic job. They did a very very beautiful recreation of of those originals. So there is no doubt that those are top notch. That's for a start. I probably go down until rubber sole. I don't know if I go into every record in, in the course of time, the course of time, but as it looks right now, I go up until a uh, rubber sole. And due to the help of, of uh, Dave in London, I managed to get, and I'm totally happy, a very, very, very special first pressing of revolver. Here is the original jacket. Here is the inner sleeve. Here is the vinyl. And that is of course one of the most important parts. The vinyl plays gorgeous. Really, really beautiful top. Again, I'm, I'm so surprised in what perfect, great shape some collectors keep their vinyl. That's so astonishing and, and I'm so grateful <laughs> uh, to those people who, who really treasure those and so that we are able and, and uh, uh, can, can enjoy them after over 50 years now. Came out in 1966. So, but important now, I said very, very special first pressing. <coughs> What makes this pressing so special? This is one of the relatively rare first pressings that has the wrong mix at side two. The last song on side two is the wrong mix. They had that on the press on the very first day for a couple of hours when they recognized it and changed it. So. This, of course, makes it two things, two, in my opinion, uh, uh, very important things. Rare, only a couple of hours, and a very early first pressing, which is, in my opinion, quite interesting. And you can identify that on the dead wax. And today we go a bit in the dead wax. I will also put it in the video description down below. What you have to look for is XEX, when it comes to EMI. XEX means mono. YEX means stereo. Then you have 606, which is the individual number of this second side of revolver. And then you have minus one, which indicates the first layer cut. So this is what you have to look for. I've also put down an, uh, a link to an article I've read 
that goes very, very, very deep into this specific uh, release. Quite an interesting read. He also gets very, very deep into uh, this mix-up on the for the for the last song on on the second side. Very interesting reading. Very enlightening. And what I've also learned now is, and I think that's also quite interesting. The initial release numbers of Re Revolver in the United Kingdom has been 300,000 copies. So, out of this 300,000 copies, 80 to 90 percent has been mono pressings. Uh, that was for me a total surprise. I, I, I didn't, uh, wouldn't have thought that the that is only so few stereos at that time. And then again I called to Dave and he explained to me that yeah, although stereo came up in 1958, the people, the young people still got into those mono releases. One of those reasons, of course, is that the stereo release has been one pound more, so more expensive. And we all remember when we have been young, money is an issue. And, and so that may be one of those reasons. But then again, what I find quite interesting is that when you nowadays buy Beatles originals, I would have initially thought when I no, uh, thought about this number that the stereos are way more expensive. But that isn't the case, strangely. Maybe one reason might be that those people who paid that pound more looked better after their, their records. They have more intense relation to them. Maybe, maybe that's the reason, but I think that's quite interesting. Although, at least when it comes to the revolver, I will try and look, up that, look that up for the other releases too. Although the monos are way more they are more expensive than the stereos. Yes, okay, now, now for the comparison, which of course, at least for me, was a very, very interesting thing to do. I have put on the remaster first, enjoyable listening, I said, yeah, good, but again, and that's the problem, I would say that sounds pretty good. Really good, really good sounding release, but again, without the baseline, without the scale. And so now I have it, I have my scale, I put it on. And day and night, day and night. This is one of those cases where the original again, is so much better on my equipment. Sorry, I, I only can talk about what I hear, what I think. That's what I can talk about. And the original is significantly punchier, clearer, direct to the face. The, 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 the guitars are so different. It's really, this time we have a thick blanket. We have a thick blanket on, 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 on the remaster. I, I would have never ever thought that there will, would be such a big, big difference. I'm, I was totally surprised. And yeah, that's, that's, and now I sit here. And now I sit here and, and, and maybe some of you see it completely different. That might be the case. On my equipment, on my Einstein equipment, the difference is huge. A huge difference. And, and sometimes it has been not that big and it sounded better, but okay. But in this case, the difference is astonishing big. Astonishing. I don't know. Maybe you, maybe those, some of you are, are incredible experts on, on, on this stuff, way, way, way more than me. I just can try to get those copies, compare them, 
and and share my and share my impression. Is this because that is such an early first pressing? Did I get incredible lucky or incredible unlucky when it comes to the mono box? That I doubt that, but I would have never ever expected that amount of a difference. And so, but but careful now. We are here on the very first run, on the very first comparison out of quite some records. And uh, uh, but in, when it comes to the revolver, wow, wow. Maybe that my and now I'm I'm even more eager to listen to the new AAA cut they do for the for the uh, uh, new Beatles revolver box set that is upcoming. That will be now interesting to compare those three. I really can't wait for that. And if they, I hope, I hope that they do the same that Chad Kasem does and, and listen to an original and or, or like he does to a promo copy. I hope they, they are out there and they, but probably if, if, of course they will have that and compare those and, and work on it and say, okay, that's the way to go. We, we have to go better and better. Let's really hope they do that. If they do, that then you can expect an incredible incredible good sounding revolver extremely hot extremely hot wow wow yeah that <laughs> that again makes me thinking and and evaluating and and a lot to discuss in 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 the upcoming time but but it's now it, it's too early we have to i have to do more comparisons i have to compare more against the big guns in the business although this is considered to be brilliant aaa let's hope for the best okay thank you for your time see you on the next one bye